And then we'll go over the... First, when you're doing like, I mean, it's nice with the dab rigs now, right? Where, fuck, I got an electric one. It doesn't even look like you're, but like the old school dabs, man, that shit looked like you were doing drugs with a fucking acetylene torch going and everything. You're like, this feels like I'm going past fucking cannabis and into, and into something. Don't get me wrong. I like a dab head, man. I do. Uh, but for me, I like... But like dab hits, bong hits, these are like taking shots, right? I mean, they're good, but I'd rather, you know, have a joint that's kind of slower. I can smoke on it for a while. Uh, you know, it's got, it, it feels like it has a casual social feel. But bong hits and dabs feel like you're about ready to sit on the couch and nobody's going to talk for an hour, <laughs> right? As you watch a movie or whatever. All right, so let's talk about what strain I got because I got a new strain. Um, got a couple of things actually. If uh, uh, let's see here, do this. But first, I will do this. Go back. Uh, I got a couple of things I'll talk about right after this. If you want to skip ahead of the, if you don't care about the weed part, um, it's not long, and it's not much. I'm just. Uh, but there is other, there is a reason I'm, there's other shit. Oh, <laughs> I, I gotta say, before I look at it, now this is a strain I've never had. It's called the Tropical Cherry Wafer. Uh, I got it from the, you know, local dispensary down the street. They're awesome. It's this, uh, Tracy, the, the woman that owns it is is awesome and there's like three employees it's just great and they have a whole smoke lounge there if you're in charlottesville i don't know i don't know who ever is though i did wear uh uh what is it ugly uh ugly nelly's hat which is a bar here in charlottesville and i wore this is, and this was like not in the you know getting thousands of views there this was like a hundred views, a couple hundred views, uh, kind of thing. Anyway, somebody commented, lady commented, she's like, oh my God, I can't believe you're wearing a Dirty Nelly's hat. Like I've been to that bar. 
it, it, I mean, Charlottesville, University of Virginia is here, so it's huge. But in that sense, I mean, there's a lot of people, and but it's a small college town, so it was kind of funny for. Uh, I literally those two hits are the first two hits of uh, uh, of weed I've had all day, and I I'm high. This shit, I mean, I'm I'm going on tangents off of tangents already, and I didn't just took two bong hits. Oh yeah. So before I, anyway, if you're in Charlottesville, go to Sweet Relief. They're awesome, man. Uh, the women there that work there are cool as shit, and it's just a cool. It's right on the downtown mall. Uh, I'm not trying to oversell. It's not like I'm, I'm. They were kind of a sponsor when I first started. Um, I would record a lot there, but that was before I could. I had a. Uh, place where I could smoke inside, Oops. inside or anything. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah, okay. So without looking at what this is, tropical cherry or anything, like how it's supposed to be or strength or anything. The only thing I know about it is, she said it was. She's like, it's really good, and she likes it, and that it's a sativa. Sativa, Sativa dominant. Everything is kind of a hybrid in a way now, right? I mean, the way they can genetically do this. Um, I didn't get, I don't remember the taste. I don't know where the cherry, <coughs> maybe, uh, well, here, let's like this joint as I talk it. Uh, taste wise, I, I, I don't know. It felt like a pretty harsh smoke, but again, it, it, I usually smoke out of a joint, out of a joint. I usually smoke joints. Uh, and I, I hardly take, uh, bong hits except for every once in a while. And I haven't smoked all day. I'm going to. Uh, okay. Yeah. It does not have so tropical cherry leaf <laughs> does not have a uh, mm, uh, indica vibe about it. It definitely feels it feels sativa. Probably nothing to do with that bright light. Right, in my motherfucking face. Uh, two bong hits. I'm more or less a daily smoker. Uh, literally, this is, came in completely sober, no, you know, no beers, no other weed, nothing. And two hits has done this to me. This is good shit. I like it. This is a fun, uh, a f <laughs> I almost said fun uppity high, but <laughs> somehow that feels racist. <laughs> Doesn't it? Because uppities usually work, you know, usually the, you have an, up, <coughs> an elevated situation uh, or sensation. I will stay away from uppity. Oh, yeah, but let's look. Oh, damn it. All right. Tropical cherry. All right. It's also called... Cherry Trop. Well, that's creative. It's a modern marijuana strain from uh, Relentless Genetics. Man, it's crazy, yeah. So this thing's brand new. I mean, the shit they're doing with weed now is incredible. I mean, first of all, it's just bananas how quickly the national sentiment went from cocaine is... I, I cut hair off from cocaine. Uh, cocaine. That weed is a, you know, it's, it might as well be coke, you know, and it's out in like drug level stuff to uh, now my crazy, what crazy, uh, my waspy stepmom in her 70s take CBD. It's just, it's so funny. But anyway, oh, the genetic, I mean, they're just creating the shit out of a thin air, man. Okay, Trop Cherry is a cross of Tropicana cookies and cherry cookies. 
I don't know that I've had either one of those. Drop cherry smells like a dank tanger, like a dank tangerine and cherry with the functional daytime high. Man, agreed. That's the seven, the seventies, the sativiness about this. Uh, this is not a nighttime strain. This is not a nighttime strain. I would take this as like you're on the beach, pool, uh, you know, whatever. You got daytime stuff you're doing. It's strong, so I would be I would be cautious of using it, of of smoking it, uh, if you got like for real, for real shit to do. I mean, this should again, again, again too long. Again, this should again, again, fuck again, up. Again. I mean, not bad, you know what I mean? But like, yeah. Anyway, it's a daytime high. Relentless genetics works out of cotton. Okay, well, whatever. <clears throat> okay, here are the helps with anxiety. I gotta say, uh, pain. These are all really. Those are the kind of to pain. I end up kind of mostly. That's why I like indicas. Um, I don't know how good this is, is right now for the pain. I don't. I don't feel any difference with the that that hasn't left. But the anxiety, you're definitely. Uh, euphoric uplifted is probably a better term than uppity. <laughs> I don't know. Right? Tell me, especially in 2023, it doesn't say an uppity. Just feel like it's <laughs> so. I probably should quit saying it. Uh, creative, uh, yes, in the sense that I'm feeling like it's it's up. Uh, it doesn't seem to give me any. I don't, I don't feel like if I wanted to, like, I like doing this, actually. This is fun because then I can I can sort of think through this and I can fuck around with this. So, yeah, I'd say creative. I mean, are you going to, you know, be sitting there scarfing down fucking corn dogs and ice cream because <laughs> you're super high and all of a sudden you're going you're gonna to come up with the statue of the statue of David? No. But, yes, it, it doesn't make you want to. I get it. Yeah. Cause you, yeah, I, I am getting, I'm getting fun out of feeling like I'm getting fun out. Of. This is a cool strain. This is a fucking really cool strain. <laughs> okay. I don't know about the, I mean, dry eyes, dry mouth. Yeah. I mean, what, isn't that kind of all? Uh, I'll tell you about the taste of that. I'll smoke this joint and then kind of, uh, kind of talk it through but i to tell you more about the taste but i i honestly it felt like a really harsh smoke i mean even though i don't do bong heads that often they don't normally f fuck me up like that and i did the whole this is, you know clean it out clean water uh i like putting an ice cube melting an ice cube down through this water fucking cold your bong cold it compresses that smoke so it doesn't uh it means you're getting a little bit more in but it also lowers the uh you know it makes it a little smoother problem is it makes it smoother coming in and i guess what you saw is i'm like i'm feeling it go down and i'm i'm feeling where it's like hit and irritate ah all right so let's light this joint and we'll serve um i might split this up because i was uh so Welsh did something that was kind of funny. I mean, look, this is where you got to get with like, you got it, it's something like, and again, I'm not trying to sigh up the motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not sigh up and shit. I'm not fainting one way or, or playing games. I'm, <clears throat> I, I mean, I'm, I'm saying directly what I'm observing. <clears throat> and the more I observe these guys and, Especially, I mean, they're, I mean, Shuggy's not uh, interesting. He, he's drunk. Shit face drunk. <laughs> I, hey, whatever, man. I don't care. He's a retired military Navy guy, too. Good on him, man. Live your life, Shug. Uh, but that doesn't make it interesting. Dan is interesting. I think what we're all getting for a whole fucking slew of reasons, right? <clears throat> I, just the more I think about it, it it's 
but uh, they, they won't give me any attention on these <clears throat> when I've been going directly at them. And, you know, hey, cool. Uh, they have mentioned me before and then had opinions about me before. So it's not like... It's not like they're not really paying attention, right? Uh, and then I just spent two videos talking about how uh, Dan has prostrated himself as fast as he can to a king who doesn't even fucking, isn't even from his country, right? And then how the Welsh fucking laid the fuck down when everybody else fucking when the tough kids on the fucking block told the Brits to go fuck themselves you simps fucking said govern us right I mean I went pretty hard I go fuck now he gets this like nationalist Welsh song we'll go over it we'll play it uh it is good and I, I mean I gotta be honest with you I love that kind of shit I'm such a I I don't want to say, I mean, you know, you say patriot, it's like, you know, the connotation these days is, is, is different than what I mean. I just have such a deep, um, belief and, uh, a high regard for what we're doing here in the States and this, and this grand experiment we're doing. Uh, I, I, you know, and like I said in the other ones, man, you aren't great because you don't make mistakes. You're great because you get past your mistakes, right? That's what greatness does. And, and greatness is more worried about achieving and accomplishing and bettering than they are about, <clears throat> uh, you know, lingering and caring about about mistakes i shouldn't say caring but like fixing it you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah okay that happened well the, we're moving past that we got it uh, you know i probably the big one would be if reconciliation with slavery right uh but if you look at like the u.s in the larger context of the world uh now look hey the uk Admittedly, England was the first uh, Western country to, to abolish slavery. They did it before us. But <clears throat> uh, they, look, at, they went past there, too. I mean, fuck, they had colonialism. <laughs> they had the whole British Empire thing. Uh, they they've, they got quite a bit to reconcile for. Um, or reconcile with, not reconcile for, but reconcile... However, they want to do it. I'm not, and again, I don't mean that in a judgment way, but you know, as a as a as a society, as a country, as your national identity, you know, you have to figure out how these things, you know, it's just like a human. You're all made up of good and bad. But uh, I just think it's hilarious that the national, this national ballistic uh, whales song. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I started off. I don't know what this taste is. But this shit has got me high as fuck. I have not been thinking about the taste, so I don't know how to give you... A... This shit is strong as shit, man. Um, but it is... Cr like, you're... It's nice. You're up. You know what it feels like? Um, it, it, has, it has this feeling of <clears throat> uh, that first glass of wine. You know what I mean? <clears throat> First glass of red wine. And <clears throat> and red wine specifically. When you, you, you know, you're going, you're going and you're elevated and all, next thing you know, your glass is empty and you're definitely buzzed. You're not like fucked up. Uh, but, you know, you're definitely feeling that nice elevated buzz and you're feeling talkity, uh, but you aren't to that drunk uh, but it has that kind of euphoria uplifting. It's really how this feels. It's interesting. Um, oh, but what I was going to say is, but I really 
like history. I'm not an expert on history or anything. I, I just I, I like broad stroke themes and things, and I am very uh, proud of uh, to be a participating citizen in a country that has uh, given back to me and my family. I mean, literally just everything they promised. <clears throat> literally, metaphorically real or or dreamt of. It just, it it's, uh, I'm very, very appreciative. And I, you know, I mean, and I served for 25 years, so <clears throat> during war. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, and, you know, I've said it before and I get it. Look, I'm, <clears throat> okay, this doesn't give a bit of, kind of, you know, within two generations of my family being here, we got three bronze stars. We motherfucking fight wars. We, we pay. And then my grandfather, who didn't serve here, was in the Italian army uh, during World War I. Were they good or bad? <laughs> Either way, he was in it. Uh, we've got this really cool, like, plaque thing. It's, I mean, you know, everything like Italy, man. It's a lot of pomp, circumstances, <laughs> pomp, whatever. It's a lot of nothing for, it, or it's a lot for what essentially is saying thank you for serving. I mean, it's really cool. Uh, but it's so funny to compare it to the Marines where the Marines are like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> You're lucky we even let you in. <laughs> you know? It's so funny. I I, I was talking with uh, someone earlier and we, we were it, the, just an abusive relationship kind of thing was, you know, sort of thought, like, how would you you know, stay in that and be in that. Uh, and then I, because I was, I was keeping it to the, to Welsh. I was thinking of uh, uh, the three fucking American simp ass motherfuckers on dance thing. Like, it's crazy. They're like a little abused, abusive relationship they got going on there. Uh, Dan bullies all of them. Those three, I don't get, listen. I, I, I want to be clear with all this too. I don't care if people criticize America or criticize the U.S. or or even criticize me for how patriotic I am, and and how I don't mind uh, defending this country that for whatever you know, uh, <laughs> like in reality or just even conversationally with the likes of an idiot like Dan. I don't, criticism isn't the thing. And so when I say, oh, I can't believe they just sit there and, and listen to that, like, it'd be one thing if it was like one time, you're not going to necessarily make a whole, I wouldn't make a whole scene of it. it. It's weird. There's no pushback, but those simp motherfuckers sit there day after day, hour. I mean, they have seven hour fucking streams that they got to listen to Dan shit on the country that they are uh, citizens and participants in. So to, I mean, I'm assuming they vote and do all that kind of shit, right? That they participate in 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 in, in their in civic duties uh, and their citizens of, and they just sit and listen to Dan uh, shit with terrible facts, bad logic, with the ideas of an idiot, of a drunk idiot. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh. It's so weird. I don't. I don't understand how, how. I mean, my whatever. You can call me misogynist and whatever. My male ego would never, ever, ever, ever let me fucking just sit there, and fucking take it for not for nothing. I mean, I'm sure. What do they probably get? Probably get a little bit of money for fucking being on the show, <clears throat> you know. And then uh, Becca as their little chew toy. Maybe she gets a little extra. I don't know. Uh, you know, shit like that. <clears throat> I don't, I wouldn't take it. I just, there's no, there's no fucking way. I'm not saying I would fly to fucking whales and, and kick the shit out of the dude. I'm saying, but I'm saying like, 
I wouldn't go, I would, I'd be like, Hey, you're, I would, I just wouldn't engage with that. Why would you engage with that? Why would you just sit there and get shit on day after day after day? Nothing about it is funny. <clears throat> you sent out like one broke computer. Your charity shifts from law, U.S. law enforcement and veterans to U.K. military and, and law enforcement. And now you're doing no-kill shelters. I mean, who believes you? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I just... I mean, you're just begging <clears throat> with a video presentation. God damn. <clears throat> now I should have something cold. But yeah, it's just... So anyway, <clears throat> how about this one? This is a this is a good stoner one. <laughs> to tie it back, I like national pride songs. You know, songs that are about people's national country, different countries' national pride. They they move me. I get I you know I'm like yeah man I get it. You know I I'm, I'm like a target audience kind of thing. But let's play this Wales one and. <clears throat> I'll stop at the show and I'll speed up. We're not going to play. I'm gonna, well, maybe, no, whatever. It's not that long. Pay attention to the lyrics. <clears throat> and again, I'll point it out as we go through. They mentioned two people in, uh, they mentioned uh, Maximilian, I guess when they were Roman. God, they were, I mean, everybody was under Roman control for <laughs> Europe forever, but like for a long time, but. So it's not saying much, but the, uh, they were under, they mentioned a Roman, I, I'm assuming, you know, one of their many, many foreign rulers. Oh my God. I mean, what, what could the fuck goes through a society's head to not push back on that? You know? I mean, you're on, fuck, millennia of being controlled by foreign rulers. I, I don't. So anyway, when they're going through, they think they think that the Caesar guy and then they think this other prince and they're like, he left us as a whole country uh, and we're still here. None of it is about. The whole song is about two different foreign rulers that came in, squared their shit away, and then, you know, left. And they're praising them for school. They, they are praising the foreign rulers for squaring their shit away. And then it's like, we're still here. Like, huh. You guys are the asshole of people's empires. Nobody. The song is decent. So let's play this song. It just. It's so subservient. It, I, I get it. It's so. There really are, and I'm not saying stereotypes. I'm saying there are broad stroke societal uh, attitudes and, you know what, I mean, attitudes are a fleeting thing, but, it, you know, like a, a way that as a society, people are kind of oriented, have a, have a collective uh, uh, orientation towards, a pers you know, on a perspective. And I, I don't know that I've been anywhere I mean, I've seen people with rocks going up against. I, I, man, listen, this is the way I would. I, this is the way I would talk to, to to my guys all the time. Not my U.S. guys, but my the foreign guys. I'd be like, man, listen, if somebody drove a motherfucking tank in my neighborhood, I'd be shooting at it too. You're fucking right, I'd be shooting at it. So let's get the tank out of the neighborhood. And also, stop killing people. <laughs> you know, but seriously, that was always my end because I clearly have a strong belief in that. Fucking A, I would immediately. 
man, I'd start setting up networks. So, I mean, like to me, and then I listen, when we invaded Iraq or whatever, you can call it whatever, I, I'm, we invaded Iraq. What did they do? They immediately fucking lit up their underground networks of shit. All of this fucking underground network shit that they had been building. <clears throat> you, do you think they just fucking took it? Man, they didn't want Saddam. Saddam's rule fucked them up. They still didn't just fucking take another country coming in and saying, we're taking over. The Welsh did and do and have for a millennium. And then in their songs, they're like, thank you, foreign rulers. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I started talking about the little PSYOP thing, right? Not getting... <clears throat> Funny that Dan, uh, you know, uh, they're not paying attention to the single thing I'm saying, but I'm fucking hammering on how, as a country, that their people just fucking lay down and accepted and still accept the yoke of fucking tyranny of a foreign ruler. <laughs> oh, cool. You got nice, you got a fucking cool Oceanside fucking thing. Yeah, so do we. Nobody cares. Clearly, you don't care. You guys don't care enough to fight for your own country. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Show show me all the badass pictures of, of green whales. I got it. It's beautiful. How about you guys figure out how to love your country enough to fucking get the yoke of fucking a foreign ruler off your fucking neck? But you don't. No. Not, especially not Dan. I mean, if the rest of the country thinks the way Dan is, it is crazy to me. I mean, I do like to joke about how this dude fucking like seems to relish in being governed. Uh, <laughs> but he does. But if their whole country, but I mean, if their country even feels like half of the way about it, that he does, how can you not even vote? I, I mean, fuck vote. This would be beyond, I mean, if there was a foreign fucking ruler who came in all of a sudden, I would rend down the shit out of it. <laughs> I mean, just, I wouldn't even blink. Fuck, if it was cops from a <laughs> out of their own jurisdiction and be like, let's get it. <laughs> Head to the hills, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, part of it is like, I don't know. This is why this is why it works so well with the in the Arab and, and uh, Latin world, man. I don't know. I mean, to 2023 standards, I'm probably pretty misogynistic. I don't feel like I am, but I'm sure people from YouTube uh, land would, you know. Uh, so there's that paternalistic. Yeah, I mean, I come from a, you know, a family where the the oldest male's, you know, the padrone, and he's in charge. And, you know. So, yeah, I mean, you know, there's all of that. But, I mean, the truth is, is I would could be honest when I was talking, when I would talk to these guys about, like, hey, man, I'm not, I'm here to get this figured the fuck out. Like, let's fucking hunt some bad dudes and let's get these motherfucking tanks and these young military dudes and all this fucking crazy moon man gear who were clearly nervous and, and then feeling power and they're pushing people around, you know, like, yeah, let's get these motherfuckers out of your neighborhood. I am not here to deceive you to get more of them in here. In fact, <laughs> if, if you work with me, there's going to be less. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. So it just, when I say, listen, and when I say like something like, man, it boggles my mind, I don't get it. I get it. I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I understand what is going on. What I don't get is the acceptance of it, of things like that. And I, I just, that's what I don't understand. It, it, it's not that the concept of how that dude, you know, loves to be governed is, is like astrophysics. <laughs> you know? I mean, I get what he, why he, I just I don't understand I just I, I don't understand the acceptance of, of certain of certain things like that. It blows my mind. All right. So let's
let's do the song. I gotta be honest. It gets a you get a swell of just from you know the music, but pay attention to the lyrics. The, first of all, there is nothing about independence. There is nothing about national pride. There, well, sort of that their language is still there because he's singing and is what this is. How little is is Welsh a language or is it like? You know, like Irish isn't only it's Gaelic or whatever, right? I, I don't know. Whatever they speak, sheep shagger. <laughs> but it must be hard to speak when you're constantly laying on your fucking stomach to foreign rulers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gotta be hard to convey your ideas. <laughs> yeah. But listen, listen to this shit. <laughs> when Max Smith left our country, it, it again, they're. He left us a complete nation. Maximus, the Roman ruler. I don't know what he would be. He's not a Caesar, but you know what I mean. Let's just say Caesar. The Caesar who ruled over. <laughs> Thank you. You left us a nation. We couldn't have done it ourselves. It's hard to build a nation when you're on your stomach all the time, when you're on your knees for other men. <laughs> I have you with this is the thing, and I really hate to do this because I do feel it's really harsh, but let's be perfectly fucking honest. How could you feel a fucking ounce of fucking national pride if you if you are being ruled and have been ruled for a millennium by foreign rulers? What pride you have no pride in yourself. Yeah, you're still here today being ruled by a foreign king. <laughs> Despite everything and everyone, but, 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 I mean, apparently, you guys have no idea how to even govern yourselves. So is that what you mean? Despite your complete incompetence to, to manage a fucking incredibly small country on your own without the help of a foreign ruler? Despite all that. I... I what does that mean? Despite, I, I, I really don't even get it. I mean, I honestly, <laughs> I know I was talking about before, but this one I don't get. What is it? You're still here today? Y yay? Hey, we're still being ruled by a foreign power. Yay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think this is a simplistic uh, and not the right way to think of it, uh, but Iraq, the Iraqis fucking 
took the yoke of America off their neck in uh, what? So 2003 went to 2011, right? It's kind of when it, when did we more or less get out of there? But like 2011, 2012, we were out of there, man. In less than a decade, they were, they managed. I mean, we would have stayed. We would have stayed. That's why people don't want, want other foreign countries coming in and, and setting up shop. But guess what? They made it so miserable for our politicians and the, for, and the political thing and, and all of that, uh, that they got rid of us. Now, look, I don't think we were there. I'm glad we truly should have been out a lot earlier, but, uh, you know, hindsight, but if anybody really gave a fuck about my opinion about it, they would have promoted me and asked me. So they asked me about different shit. <laughs> uh, but I actually did work. I know I have a story, look, fucking everything, but I did work uh, closely with uh, uh, the Iraqi government part, a piece of it. I through an intermediary, we were doing this project, but and and our uh, what it was not the provisional authority, what, whatever we were, whatever our senior, uh, you know, national level folks, not DOD were. I worked, <laughs> I just worked, I've worked with insurgents in a bunch of different places. I, I just, I mean, people have nothing. You have a soccer stadium and you're singing about, hey, thank you, foreign leader, for coming here and squaring our shit away. <laughs> I didn't rewind it. They just literally just repeated, despite everything and everyone, we're still here. Nothing about this is about agency of the people. No, all of this is passive. They're acting like they have no agency, despite despite everything that could have, we are still here, not out of our own agency, but I get it. I'm starting to get the psychology of these people a bit more. Hmm. Thank you, marijuana. What we like, the storm on a mole. What gave me his to do we pray? I play that the darn in cold. Oh, you're going to win. I don't know if you guys, well, you can't see it now because I just paused it, but check the crawler on the bottom. It's, you can Now you can win either a PC or laptop. I don't think that choice is the one they wanted. They wanted one that worked. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, let the Thunderbolts shout their encore. Let the faint hearted keep on wailing. Isn't that your whole country? Let the serfs all grovel and fawn. You guys are motherfucking a country of serfs. Oh my god, they're literally calling themselves that. Hold on. Yeah, sorry. No, it's just... Okay, let the fun. Okay, let's go back. Let the wind blow cold from Eastwood. But Thunderbolts shout their encore. Okay, so it's just weather. Let the faint hearted keep on wailing. So they're talking about themselves again. But they're talking about the weak of the people. Let the faint hearted keep on wailing in spite of the darkness around us. Okay, I, I know I'm, I'm probably, that's too much into this, but check out again how there is nothing about, hey, be strong. No, 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 keep wailing. Nothing about like, no, rally around me. We rallied around this guy who's our hero. We rallied around George Washington. You know, you know what I mean? There's, no, there's nothing, 
No, just keep wailing. <laughs> Don't do anything. Despite the darkness, we're ready to greet a new dawn. By that, you mean a new foreign ruler? Well, guess what? England has been in charge and governing you for, well, since Maximilian left. <laughs> Man, they are not. I know. This is incredibly superficial, but I think it says something. Also, I'm Italian. My people taught the world how to how to fuck, eat, and dress. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> aesthetics mean something. These are an ugly fucking people. This is why when I saw, you know, I was kind of you know looking around and then I saw this picture of Dan. I'm like, oh no. He is completely a Welsh 45. Like, these are not a good looking people. Look at this. They're all like skinny and balding. I mean, this could be <laughs> Dan. This is a whale's 20. <laughs> I mean, here is the thing. What does this fucking even mean? Despite everything and everyone, we're still here. We are still here. Being controlled and governed by a foreign power for the last millennium. <laughs> and what does that say about you that you are still there accepting the governance from a foreign power? I know I keep hitting on this, but this is your national identity. You're either too fucking accepting of being governed by somebody else or you you're too dumb to know how to leave my grandmother was from Montalupri in sicily a lot of what was going on with sicily was going on with wales and the same kind of thing romans more everybody fucking ran through that right what did they do do you think they sat back no they exported the mafia, <laughs> you know. But you know, but you know what my family did? They left. They said we're not taking this, and they left. You guys stay. Fucking love to be governed. <laughs> I mean, I really, I mean, it is superficial. And I normally wouldn't say this, except for I'm just roasting the shit out of Dan and Wales. Go back and take a look at this again and who we just looked at. I mean, this guy looks pretty normal. But first of all, they're all balding. Hilarious. Uh, they all have that uh, counselor from, uh, uh, the school counselor from uh, South Park. Okay. They all kind of look like, they all have that look going. They are not an attractive people. I mean, look at that guy. I know. I had the same first thought you did. Is that is that the insignia for a Special Olympics team? <laughs> right? I mean, I hate to say it, but when you're unsure if numerous people in your video about national pride <laughs> have down syndrome or not. <laughs> like, that's terrible. I'm not. <sighs> Just please see this as a roast. <laughs> Don't hate me, Tars. Come on. Oh, here's the second one. Oh, now they're, oh my God, I keep forgetting. We're, I am so stoned. 
Okay, now, hey, remember that old Prince Maxon? Okay, I'll go back a second. Not, now they're going to talk about the, the other uh, foreign ruler that they, they love. <laughs> What the heck is that? Let's shout out to all the nations. Hey, we're open to be governed. <laughs> Come on in. Govern the fuck out of us. <laughs> Please, please be that the next lyric. Shout to all the nations. We'll be here until kingdom come. <laughs> yeah. They don't mean... They mean when England finally decides to, to fucking stop governing them. <laughs> England's kept you alive, motherfucker. I don't know what you're talking about. Without England, you wouldn't survive. You've clearly shown that. It'd be one thing if England, if you were like a colony of England for, you know, whatever, way back when for a bit, whatever. No, you guys are still one. You're still, they annex you and you're like, cool. Cool. Despite England's might, we're alive. No, because of England. How does that feel? You rubbed our homes and fortunes, even drove us from the land. You try to break our spirit, but you'll never understand. The love of dear old Ireland that was fought in Ireland well. As long as there are gathered men like you met off the hill. I mean, can you imagine that as a, as a, I mean, look, they may not directly process it and they probably don't put it into these words, but this is, this is a, this is clearly an undercurrent of how they think about it. I, <laughs> they have been told you can't govern yourselves. So we are going to govern you and you're too weak to do anything about it and accepted that after 10 years. Not for 100 years, not even for 500 years. <laughs> for over a thousand years, these motherfuckers have been ruled by somebody else. To this day. I mean, can you think about that in modern, in modern era? <laughs> even Ukraine fought back, motherfucker. <laughs> you know? I mean, and the thing is, the U.S. loves a motherfucker who fights. I, where I grew up in St. Louis, we fundraised for the cause, and the cause was the IRA. I legitimately didn't process. I mean, there are things that, boy, when I, I realized, you know, there, I'm like, man, I should have probably understood that way younger. But one of what one of those things is uh I the whole fucking troubles got uh you know put to us as they're persecuting Catholics and we <laughs> supported the fucking Northern Ireland fucking stuff. I mean it was a big it was pro IRA. I mean, you could easy wear pro IRA gear. Dudes did. Uh, I I mean, that's how much we love to fucking help another motherfucker kick the ass of a dude who's who's fucking trying to govern them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> who have we not helped ever? Have we at the Taiwanese? We help all the time, and that is politically fucking a live wire and we still risk all of that to help right even though there's the one china policy and without getting into all of that have we ever helped whales no because they've never fucking asked for it they've never had an underground that we could get in there and start fucking working with the the fucking french for fuck's sake set up an underground
No, granted, half of their country capitulated like the Welsh. I get it. I get it. But the other half didn't. <laughs> it's just crazy. I didn't, I didn't, I've just never, I, I don't, I've never really, honestly, ever really interacted with a, a, another nationality or, I, I mean, Wales is weird because it, yeah, I mean, it's a nationality, but at the same time, their, their culture is, you know, defined by surroundings. I've just never been anywhere where people just as a whole, people who have the capability uh, just as a whole, it, completely capitulate and prostrate themselves to a, a foreign king. I'm just, or foreign governance in any way. It just, I've never seen anybody not have enough fucking pride in themselves and in their nation and their, and their community to, to just motherfucking accept it. It's bananas to me. It's just, I just, it's just something I've never seen. I've seen pussies. I've seen people who cower. I've seen, I've seen people who are clearly flipping sides and, and, you know, and are pieces of shit, you know, and don't care about their people or or any of it, and are just there to exploit, you know, stuff. Yeah, but there's always been an underground or a group of people who are saying "fuck that." It's just so weird. Never been anywhere with that. It's just, it's just, as a whole, doesn't even. I mean, even the French at Paris. You know what I mean? They hate everybody. <laughs> Paris is probably my favorite favorite city in the, I've been to in the world, though. I just, as a whole, I just love the architecture and the history and the, the attitude. <laughs> All right. oh, let's get back up. Sorry. So as I was, uh, <laughs> adding, I'm adding this in because I, I saw it as I was editing. Thought of it as I was editing. Uh, I, Paris also has this surreal element to me because uh, I got engaged at uh the bottom of uh the, the base of the eiffel tower there at that little grass grass thing sorry i, was, I lost track because i was just thinking like jesus christ my first wife who was british she also did college in paris and my most recent ex she did grad school at Sciences po in paris I had a weird connection. And then my second ex-wife I'm talking about is uh, her friend <laughs> lived in Paris. I don't know if that not quite the same, but it's just so weird to have that connection with Paris. But yeah, so we were, I mean, I had been back from Iraq. I mean, like a, a, a super intense deployment too. This is 2005. And, you know, a couple of weeks later, boom, we're in Paris and we're getting engaged. Uh, and then... There's a super cool photo. I had, uh, I gotta find it on digits. It's just really, we're like bending. Her friend is a really good photographer, and the angle that the perspective she took it at was just super cool. Um, I mean, that was seemed surreal enough that I was standing, like doing all of this, and uh, and then that night because her her friend was working remotely before. You know, working remotely was a thing because she's a like a web designer, I think, some, something like that. And uh, so she'd been living in Paris, so she was like all hooked up, connected and shit. Um, actually, one night we even hung out with the uh, uh, Marine security guards. I was an MSG in Venezuela. That's what I was doing in Venezuela. Uh, embassy duty, embassy guards. Yeah, that's strange. It was really strange to be that connected in, in Paris. Shit, I think my buddy Bill, who I had been in Iraq with, oh no, he came, he was, he went through there like a, a little bit before to hang, and he hung out with my ex's friends and stuff because they were all just like mutual friends. And um, yeah, anyway, so that night after we got engaged at the Eiffel Tower, uh, got all gussied up and, you know, wearing a fucking nice ass shit and went to a gallery opening in Paris. And like not even a month earlier, I had been, <laughs> I I had been sitting basically in mud where I could smell burning donkey shit. But yet, even in that environment, uh, I 
because of the project I was working on with the uh, country team out of the embassy, the senior guy was like, hey, Josh, you know, uh, uh, Condi Rice is aware of what you're doing. Not like knows me, but you know what I mean? Is aware of the shit we're working on. Because uh, it was a super small, I mean, like beyond small little thing. And, but it had a big, huge impact. So <laughs> I just, I, I just was sitting in Paris like, this is, I'm a middle-class kid from St. Louis. Like, it just was nuts to me that that's the, to live in that sort of world and to function and like just those, those events. I mean, I know, you know, people have done these things or whatever. I just mean for me. It, and I just loved the fuck out of it uh, so much. I just put the metal, pedal to the metal for the... <laughs> The next 10 years or so, <laughs> 10 plus years, right? Fif 15 years, I don't know, whatever it was. Uh, so, yeah, I have a good but strange w connection with Paris I wouldn't have thought. And a lot of it is with, weirdly, through just American friends, too. Uh, one of my uh, good friends, Marine buddy of mine, he would been... He would pay, just do TJ. He's now a finance student in Hong Kong or whatever. But like, um, yeah, he he had uh, yeah he was Paris. He he was he worked at the embassy in Paris. A anyways, it's it's interesting to me. But they um, but yeah. So anyway, back to your regular scheduled program. Finish the song. I The Welsh language will forever survive. How about having a little fucking now? Now listen, I think I I truly think the language surviving is a in in any other circumstance is I think it's immensely important. I think it says something. Uh, you know, the Brits try to wipe out Gaelic, then, but your language. <laughs> So that's all you're protecting. Man, if I had a few beers in me, you know, near a stadium, man, I would be getting into this song. Not even knowing the word. I'd be like, ah, oh, that's a signal. <laughs> oh, and then be like, wow, what does that mean? Oh, it, we're talking about these uh, two foreign rulers who came in and squared our shit away and how we've been uh, accepting being uh, governed by a foreign power for over a millennial. Huh, that's strange. Why were you so proud of that? Because we're bitches. You don't have an ounce of fight in you. I mean, how do you join the military? <laughs> Being run by the country that fucking controls you. How do you have an ounce of pride in yourself, man? <laughs> I would do nothing for England. Look, the IRA were terrorists. They just were. Uh, I, <laughs> incidentally, I've actually really, I, since, since all of that, and then when I started studying terrorism a bunch, of, you know, mostly initially, obviously the uh, like Islamic jihadi types and stuff and getting to know. I was, I was in on that stuff. I'm not saying this to whatever. I just was interested in that stuff long before because I was interested in the IRA and <clears throat> the IRA actually uh, trained a lot of uh, like, well, in Libya set up camps and shit for these, uh, you know, during that whole era of, you know, fucking little commie groups running around and, and, uh, uh, 
Islamic terrorists really hitting the hitting the world stage. Uh, unfortunately, the IRA, like all the bombs, stuff I had mentioned before, the IEDs, the, the, a lot of this stuff can be, you know, come back to them. But but there has been a lot written on them, and so I really studied how they set up because I studied a lot of networks. How how do networks under operating under secrecy <clears throat> and stress? How do they function and all that shit? Right? Uh, but yeah, the IRA is a terrorist organization, and they did some fucking they did some bad uh, bad shit. But I would fucking put my lot with them any day of the week over fucking accepting what you guys have accepted for thousands of years, thousand years. I know it sounds extreme, but I just, <laughs> I would. Also, I'm a crazy person, so you know, whatever. <laughs> Despite every attempt we have had for <laughs> to make this to be completely assimilated into somebody else's uh, country and government and culture and everything, uh, we're still here. <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough of that. This has been another long one. Oh, no. Uh, oh, I didn't even get to what I was... <laughs> Uh, what I was going to mention, uh, me and Coded are going to do a, uh, are going to do a live tomorrow on his channel. It looks like one. Uh, it's set, it's set for one, but if you want, keep an eye on his, on his channel. Uh, we are going to go over the just we're going to go over the timeline. We're going to go over Dan's timeline and what we know and all that, you know, kind of set up some. OK, like, I mean, pretty much 2007, because if he's 45, right, and he said he got out in his 20s and he refused to say when in the Navy. Right. So to, and he went in at 16. So if he's 45 now, that's great, because then that gives us the first one. And automatically that sets up the second one uh which is 1978 so from there then you build okay well he's 16 when he went in okay well that's 19 what was it 94 or whatever okay like these are hard ones that we know 100 percent that he he can't and we don't need nobody needs a month also i don't know i know him and coded are you know uh th there's a bit more animosity uh, personal animosity between those two then i mean dan won't even dan doesn't even pay attention to me at all i mean why would he i think uh i get a hundred views i don't know how many subscribers i have but i don't not even it's like 550 why would he pay attention to me? I mean, why after two days of me hammering about how fucking weak his country is, he all of a sudden does this fucking Welsh song? <laughs> I mean, Coded promotes my shit. If, if the truth is, if Coded didn't promote my uh, uh, promote my stuff, promote my channel, and you know about what I'm saying about Dan, then uh, the truth is I wouldn't expect that they would be. that that, that 
anywhere on their radar, honestly. Uh, but they clearly follow Coded very closely. And Coded numerous times uh, and more than just sort of slightly in passing, which again, I, I honestly appreciate, buddy. Uh, has mentioned has mentioned me and my channel and what I'm doing. You don't think at least one of those fucking idiots has come over? <laughs> Again, I, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I I just think it because uh, I'm not like, but it plays into the whole thing of what I like about. Uh, and, and what I've realized I've liked about the YouTube thing. It, it's, for me, it's it's like pushing levers and stuff. Uh, and again, not out of arrogance, but I know they're watching. But really, really, you know, trying to ignore it. Uh, I mean, look, it was the same way with fucking Chile in the beginning, right? Back in the day. Uh and like I said, I, the, the reason I knew Chile had seen my, because, and you know, Rights On had come on. Uh, I got on his radar early. I don't remember what it was about. Uh, and we butted heads. But, again, especially at that time, Chile's a dude who was, like, scouring the internet for being to say anything about it. Bad about it. And then uh, they didn't know what to do with my, they didn't know what to do with my background. And... And then I, you know, whatever. I know how to manage. I know how to, I know how to disarm my information and shit. And so, and then that, anyway, I mean, and listen again, I'm not, this isn't my guess. I, I, somebody was, and not right on, uh, actually was telling me, you know, little birdie was saying what people were saying. <laughs> I didn't go after that information. I, I couldn't care less. Uh, and, and I still don't. <laughs> so it's interesting. It's it, it, So then I can create a different kind of dynamic. Right? It, it. I don't really know. I mean, all of this sounds... I'm not trying to sound this... Any of this to sound arrogant, really. This isn't about, like, well, I'm so skilled. It's just... You know, you get used to kind of to sort of, you know, playing the info game and, and playing the the dynamic game. And so it just I just like I like I like thinking about it. Um, I mean, look, I've said it before. My name rings out. I mean, li listen, there's a we there's a weird. Uh, it's weird that I have, you know, I mean, it, not weird to me. Like, I don't know why it's happening. But for somebody with such a low subscriber account uh, and that has no YouTube credibility. It's funny how. Uh... Anyway, that's all I'm saying. And so what that interests me is and ooh, then let's kind of, you know, let's sort of play with that. It really was. I, listen. I, and that's how we litigate the whole bacon and blind justice thing and and get into the weeds about the narrative that was built around those two things in my part and and like what happened uh is you know is wrong and but that i think is just the wider belief and that's cool and there was really no I mean, it's hard. Once shit out there, I mean, there's a lot of people playing games with info on YouTube that I, like, ha, huh, I planted that information to see if this person would do that. And uh, I got to say, it's probably just, you know, I mean, people who are more savvy with social media and doing that are truly better at it than I would have, I think I would have, uh, well, not think, I, than I would than I would have guessed without without seeing it. Because usually playing with information and trying to, hey, I'm going to say this to see if this person's it, it, it starts getting it's 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 way harder to control information than you you know than you kind of think sometimes. Uh, 
And anyway, to, but to go back to the larger narrative with, uh, 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 you know, Bacon and Blind Justice, I wasn't, I, I was, I was wrong enough in the right places for uh, that to be built out into either I lied or something, you know, whatever. Uh, but then I leaned into it and thought, well, then that's perfect. And I'm not like trying to give away any game. I'm sort of stoned at that. But they, um, <clears throat> and thinking about it, but that's what, but then something like Dan, because no, I mean, what's happening now is he, and again, I mean, there's no, whatever. He, he doesn't, I don't know what addressing me would, would do for him necessarily. The problem that he's set up in right now is I'm taking free unblocked shots to his fucking face and nuts. And he, and if he, and if he puts up a defense to it, now he's going to get into a fist fight. <laughs> it's almost like he just let me hit him freely. Jeez, just like a Welsh to just govern me, hit me, whatever you want to do. I'm smissive. Uh, it's just like, he's like, well, if I just let him punch me, me over and over and over again. Maybe he'll get tired of punching me. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Instead, I'm adding, we're adding more people to the mix to do it. So maybe I can tag out. Somebody else can punch you for a while. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, but that's the fun dynamic. No, I mean, you know, whatever. And real, but it's a fun dynamic to watch Dan and, and the, and those, and those fucking idiots. Uh, figure out what they want to do about about me like you know i wonder if they do do something i hope they do i i mean the truth is i don't care about my information so none of it's really come out except for what i've uh though i'm sure people have other things but i i I don't ever care that anybody has it, but I'm always curious on what they have. N not so I, I mean, cause you can have all, all, you can have it all, but I'm interested in what tools and what approach got what information. It, no, my light went out. Uh, got, got what, uh, got what information, you know? Like, hey, when you got that, did you go through Again, I mean, if there was one, I'm not going to help anybody get my information, but I mean, it's not, I could, I, I literally don't know. You're going to expose my shitty credit score. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else could you, it doesn't even matter. I'm making a joke, uh, but truly, I, I, but nobody's ever, uh, but I'm not on Discord, so I don't know what people say about me on Discord. I mean, I did at one point, but that's only when, uh, uh, anti chili people were, that's who was giving they, they were doing shit and they were giving me information from discord not not any uh like pro chill i hate even having those camps it doesn't matter but i mean back then but shit was split up that way you know what i'm saying and like uh once i mean really i think it was oh sorry to go back to so anyway losing the but this is it but then losing the credibility whatever but that larger narrative of the blind justice and uh and bacon thing and and my you know what i was right wrong ab about or what i you know parson that credibility losing that credibility was actually free because then it allowed me to actually to find what i truthfully what i like and and what i like is the workshopping i like i like kind of the open uh hey let's i don't want to watch this whole thing let's see if let's see if i change my you know, mind through it. Uh, and then 
it, it, it's like how the sausage is made basically uh, <clears throat> because I like going through these processes just on my own. It, it is interesting for me too, to see, Oh, this is where this, this is how I got this. This is how my opinion on this changed or this new data information came in. Like, you know, I had to correct something on, on vacant, uh, you know, in the scheme of it doesn't change really what I said, but I was like, Oh, I was wrong about these two years or whatever. Uh, it was, you know, it was in Germany, but it was, yeah, I liked that. So, <laughs> the fuck? All right, we're already an hour 16. I'd say this is a sativa episode. Oh, oh shit. I am so sorry. I've been bouncing around. Uh, so yeah, so I, I think, I mean, we're going to work out the, the details uh, but for sure, me and Coded tomorrow, uh, 1 p.m., his channel will set up the whole timeline as we know it and, and you know, kind of go off of that. It's not – he's got he's got larger, more granular context to shit, uh, you know. So, but together, we'll try and hammer, hammer that out. And then if we go further uh, down, you know, add another person, whatever – who has who, who also has a context but it you know maybe has a different context or 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 a different take and then what three four people together and then let's like all right let's just let's flesh this out uh, <clears throat> i don't uh for me this is an exercise in all of this stuff i don't uh yeah i i i as a general rule uh, dislike and, and distrust, uh, people who are cool with, <clears throat> uh, being subjugated like Dan, uh, the, the Americans are clearly not trustworthy. I mean, they're just not, I would a hundred percent drink beer with Shuggy though. <laughs> My point being is I don't have any personal like hatred for these, for these people. And that's what, that's what makes it more fun for me uh, than it did with uh, uh, bacon or, or blind justice. I, I blind justice. I, I was never, again, I was never an SF guy. I was not a team guy. I was a green beret guy, but I was in the soft community and I worked with those dudes daily. And it felt to me that justice again, I wasn't, Justice thing was a different thing that I was saying than 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 Bacon, but but still it was like man this guy doesn't feel like an SF guy at all. Uh, Bacon felt uh, personal, and that wasn't fun. It wasn't. I mean, it was satisfying to take that motherfucker down, but like, and the way I look at his views now, you fucking tuba blowing motherfucker. But like, war dodging pussy. <laughs> Uh, that, you know, but that wasn't fun. This with, with Welsh, uh, this kind of shit is fun. And this is where I, I, I kind of like the vibe where it's like, you know, personal enough where it's like, it's going to get me, I, I can feel myself getting a little riled up about certain things with him, uh, for sure. And that makes it interesting and more fun. And it, because it also clouds my judgment. And so it's not like all robotic too. It definitely clouds my judgment and it can, it's fun to kind of work through the biases. Uh, and sometimes it's just fun to, to, to go off on those guys. But yeah, that group of people is really funny. Like I, I don't, I'm not usually into like a dog pile bullying or maybe I am and I don't think I am, but, I'm, but man, it's kind of fun to bully these three, these four. Right. Becca, two Americans, four five. Uh, yeah. I mean, again, Shuggy's kind of inconsequential. He's, he's sort of a non-entity there. He's just there and drunk. Uh, but the others, it's fun to... Because they just kind of suck. I mean, untrustworthy people suck. You know what I mean? That That's... And I don't mean like, oh, I can't rely on this person. It, it But like this... Where you're like, man... You would, you're the type of person that would 
in whatever situation would sell a person out to either better your to either better your status or to save your ass. Like they all, you know. I mean, does any does Dan in any kind of way give you the impression that he would sacrifice himself or 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 anything he had or that I mean other than a broken computer, but like anything real that he would have to sacrifice for another person. Does not give me that dude that dude feels just look at the way he bullies. Look at the way he tries to bully those simps. Actually, he doesn't try. He bullies those simps. You know? <laughs> anyway, I am blabbering. Man, this strain is good. I barely... I Two bong hits and, and a, a little bit of a joint. And for the last hour and a half, I've been... I mean, I, mean, I still am. I'm going to stop recording. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I'm kind of having fun just talking, I don't know, and again, I mean, the beauty, oh, the beauty of losing all that credibility, besides just being able to, like, oh, I can, I can do it this way, uh, and I've mentioned it before, when I was getting the larger numbers, it was, it's hard to not pay attention to it, uh, and when I was getting those numbers, too, it was still when I wasn't sure, uh, on social security and all that shit, so I, I wasn't sure if I needed to, like, Hey, I need to make money off of YouTube. Uh, cause I mean, you know, VA disability is awesome and great. Even, you know, but at a hundred percent, you're not, even at a hundred percent, you're not like, it's expensive to, to live in Charlottesville. You probably do in St. Louis, but, um, oh, <laughs> the numbers, I, but it's hard, you know, but I was like, oh my God, I can't. And then these numbers were getting so big to me. I mean, 5,000 motherfucking people looking at a video like, holy fuck. Um, and just so even for like sheer, uh, I'm so sorry. It just, I got stupid mustache. I keep, you know, saying the group, it's kind of going back. So it's just, um, yeah, I mean, I, anyway, but thank God everything worked out where I was like, oh, I don't care about. I literally don't care about any of the numbers. Uh, I don't. It, it wasn't easy because they're there all the time. So even if you, it's not like I, I literally wouldn't think about. And plus, and when I was getting these really big numbers and things were going up really fucking fast, uh, like last October, November ish. Uh, yeah, got to be like September, October time frame, I think, maybe. Um, and I had just been on since like July, the previous July. And I was like, holy, you know, I mean, things were moving up like super fast. It was, it it took me a while to to to, to figure out how to, to legitimately, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. That's the only time outside of like look, seeing the number and being like, oh, or let's, hey, let's look at these stats. Uh, that would be the only time I would talk or think about YouTube numbers, uh, even even at the height of my of that. It, that's the only time I would because, you know, I, I would like people are like, hey, how's that YouTube going? I'm like, holy fuck. Are you kidding me? Like <laughs> 28,000 people watched me in fucking Ponji and, and hippie get high and fucking talk. Uh, but. It, I mean, you know, through the whole process of of the shit earlier, with between waffles and PTSD breakdown and shit like that, it it all of that did help me uh, figure out how to to legitimately uh, and, and unconsciously not, you know, I can even see the numbers now, and 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 it's not even a register because you can't. It's I don't know how you not you don't see it, uh, but. It is interesting, though, even at the low number and even with my attitude, there are things when I notice a video. And again, we're talking my super low number. So a video going from, say, you know, oh, the previous thing was at like 30. This is at like 102. Uh, 
and I and I don't mean the pattern of life shit because that's that is I, I I mean the uh, momentum mori this this stuff. So I'm like, oh, what did I? What did I? I wonder what I did or or what it was. And I I mean the truth is inevitably and probably everybody who's watching if you're watching still uh you know can guess it's the topic it uh at least for me i get more i get more eyeballs when i dissect a motherfucker than uh anything else which is you know fine i don't i don't think that says anything about people or me or any you know what i mean but it just it just means that oh that's when that's when I'm most interesting, apparently, to, to other people. Uh, I don't know how much I've changed. I mean, I do listen to, and and the truth is, I do it comments. Uh, people haven't done it in a while. Uh, Laura Raider, she always been helpful uh, and and given awesome feedback. Like for example, there was one. I mean, even if it's just feedback, as in like I did. I don't know. I was like on a second or third bacon video and she's like, yeah, that one was feeling a bit repetitive. Uh, and I was like, yeah. And I, and I've, I, I got it. I under, and that was helpful. Uh, not, not because I'm trying to by every single, you know, change every thing by every single suggestion. No, it's doing what I want. But I mean, but something like that is good to know. You know what I mean? Because then it's like, because there is something I'm doing uh, uh, with with all of this. And so it is good. I, I do, the feedback is uh, like that is, you know, anyway, it's also, I mean, plus the other thing, it saves you, it saves me, it saves me energy uh, because sometimes if there's not that kind of feedback, I'm like, huh, I wonder if that, I wonder if what I was saying made any sense. I mean, because sometimes I'm a little high, sometimes I'm a lot high, uh, but I'm always high. So, and I and I know I'll, I'll ramble or whatever. So I'm all, sometimes I'm like, I wonder if that made any sense. And I gotta say, I appreciate you guys uh, a lot. You are extremely accommodating, <laughs> extremely accommodating. I've rewatched some videos where I'm like, I barely uh i i just stone talking in circles i also have this thing of starting and stopping in the middle you know stop stopping in the middle of the sentence and then picking up another topic halfway through because of where my mind is, is you know pushing i will say the things that most people just sort of let bounce around a lot uh, and, and between that and like uh verbiage certain verbiage i'll use i'm uh I've rewatched some videos and be like, I wonder if it would help if I commented on mine and then translated what because <laughs> I don't think I don't think I just I don't think anything I just said for 45 minutes made any fucking sense. Uh but the point isn't for me to you're not the point isn't crystal clarity. The point is for you to have a glass of wine, have a fucking beer and a joint, have a joint, and fucking listen to somebody stoned. Uh, you know, talk about I don't know people you know <laughs> or or are cognizant of the, the larger YouTube uh, thing because it really was what I was looking for when I when I retired and then uh, my ex who I was living with at the time she couldn't and didn't ever smoke and so. Uh, I, I was smoking alone a lot, you know, often because, you know, I'd go walk around the block or whatever and come back. Uh, or if she was gone or whatever. And YouTube didn't have a ton of, like, I wanted, like, oh, man, this one. Is there, like, a, just a kind of a stoner talking? And there were a few. I really liked that getting dug with high, but they stopped that one. Uh but most of them kind of weren't long enough. I was like, man, I kind of want to just long form stoner. <laughs> anyway. Uh. 
that's really how all of this legitimately fucking like oh i just want to hear i want to be stoned and feel like i can interact and watch a video of somebody like i'm in a conversation like i'm in a conversation with the stoner anyway or if you're dan or welsh you're about to be governed by this motherfucking stoner all right i think an hour and a half is long enough one o'clock or on okay by the time you guys get this it'll be uh 1 p.m on july 12th go check out coded sing uh we'll go over the timeline and then if it works i don't know add other people uh bring other people to talk uh but that's what I thought about. But that's what I thought about.